Welcome to another Forge Hub video. This is PsychoDuck, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on a neat little trick I've come up with using scripting. So what I've done here is I've effectively created spawns that can be interacted with through scripting. So basically each of these teleporters here is going to act as a spawn, and each of these corresponding explosive barrels uh, despawns that spawn. Takes it out of play for three seconds in this case. So it's actually really simple to set up. I set it up on an octagon. I thought that might be kind of an interesting uh, little warm-up minigame. But uh, anyway, so first of all, I'm not actually interacting with the spawn points directly through scripting. You cannot do that. Hopefully in the future we will be able to use scripts on spawn zones, but currently we cannot. So Instead, what I have is these spawns over here inside this box uh, where they're not subject to any of the game's uh, line of sight or death influence on the spawn system. Instead, you spawn into this box and there's a teleporter in here uh, which uh, instantly teleports players from the box into the octagon. And there are eight receiver nodes that they can be sent to. That means that there's a completely random chance uh, an equal chance of players being sent to each of these uh, receivers. So the interesting thing then is that a player in the octagon can uh, dynamically influence where they spawn by temporarily taking these spawn points out of play. So it's actually really simple to set up. So all you need is this explosive barrel here and it's going to have a three second respawn time on death or deletion. So when I shoot it, it will respawn three seconds later. And then it just needs one script. So the condition is on destroyed or despawn. It will send a message on, in this case, Bravo channel. I have each of these are on a different channel. Uh, and then we have the receiver node, which has one script as well and the condition is on message received on Bravo channel it will despawn so all that says is when I destroy the explosive barrel this teleporter receiver will despawn and then I have a three second respawn timer on the receiver node as well so three seconds after I despawn it it will come back and of course you can play with those respawn times and you can do lots of other things too. So you don't have to have it on destroying an explosive barrel. You could uh, set it up so you could have the teleporter receiver move, or you could come up with all kinds of crazy stuff, frankly. So I thought this might be an interesting trick. I'd be interested to see what you guys come up with using it. So anyway, hopefully you find this helpful and hopefully you guys are enjoying Halo 5 Forge so far. This has been PsychoDuck with the Forge Hub video team, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.